Nothing can stop me, I'm all the way up Alright guys, what is up? I just thought I'd come out here onto my balcony to have a little chat, man. Um, I'm taking a break. I don't know what the title of this video is going to be. It's not going to be fitness related, not nutrition related, although I have been killing it on the diet, I've got to say, and I will be showing you the results in the following video. But we're about three weeks into the diet. Oh, two and a half weeks, and um, things are going good, but the one thing I want to tell you guys is that I, I'm taking a break. I'm taking a break from Alice Springs, I'm taking a break from work. Um, I know I just went down to Melbourne, but I, I need another one, and it's, it's going to serve as a, a bit of a... It's just going to break up the year for me, to be honest, you know, living in Alice Springs, living so remote, you need to take holidays, you need to get out of the place. And my my flatmate, um, who you know I get along with real well, we've never been on holiday together. In fact, you know, I, I haven't been away on holiday with mates um, for a while now. So he had planned a trip to Thailand. Uh, so yes, that's right guys, I'm going back to Thailand. Um, he planned a trip to Thailand with his brother, his brother's mate from England, he knows a couple of people in Thailand, so there's going to be like five or six of them. And I was going to be left here for two weeks, moping around, feeling depressed as fuck, thinking, why did I not just book some flights and get over there and worry about shit when I get back? And, and so one night, smoked a few joints, uh, went online, went on Skyscanner, found $800 flights from Alice Springs to Thailand return, and booked it, and so I'm going. So, um, it's, yeah, it's, it's fucking exciting to be honest. Today is uh, Tuesday and we leave on Friday. So, there's not, there's not a lot of time. Um, I, book, I probably booked the flights about two weeks ago, uh, but I didn't, I didn't tell you guys, didn't say anything. In fact, I wasn't fully committed until now. So, yeah, heading to Thailand again. So that should be good. I'm not going for the lady boys, I'm not going for the prostitutes, I'm not going for the happy endings, but I am going to drink copious amounts of alcohol, try and keep my training up, and just have a fucking mint time with the lads, and you know, I just can't wait, to be honest, can't wait. Thank God I don't have to wait too long, like I just booked the flights three, uh, two weeks ago, and we're going in a few days, so it was, it was a last minute decision, but I was able to get the leave from work, which I'm appreciative of, although, what I will say is that half the reason why I'm doing it is because work has just become a, a, an absolute headache. It's it's so stressful at the moment. Everyone is is getting at you from you know from management above management. Uh, it's just it seems all the good work that I've put in in the past you know can be completely disregarded if you do one thing wrong at the moment. That is the attitude that's come through the workplace. And, you know, it's put people under pressure, it's made people feel like they're, they're, they're walking on eggshells all, all the time. And it's not a good environment right now, man, you know? Um, it's, it's just not, I still have my good times at work, but they're few and far between. And, and it seems, it just seems the, the attitude's changed. And, you know, I wanna get away from that um, I personally have had my workplace performance questioned after working there for four years and it's like where the hell has this come from man it makes you feel it makes you feel unappreciated unappreciated um, and it doesn't make you want to you know work it, it really just doesn't make you want to go to work to be honest but you know I'm there for the clients I am there for the clients hundred percent that's what I've told work you know. There's a lot of backstabbing, shit like that going on at the moment. It's a government department, so, you know, there is politics involved. People want to get above other people. Thankfully, I'm in a position where no one can really do that for, to me. Uh, but, you know, people have been backstabbing people left, right and centre. And I, I want no part of it. So hopefully in two weeks when I come back from holiday, everything will be uh, back to normal. But I do doubt it. 
But um, this video was just to let you guys know the plan. Uh, over the next couple of days, it will have been three weeks worth of dieting, so I will be doing a video showing you guys what, what my macros and diet's been like. Um, I'll also do a weigh-in, and then the following day, I'll be doing a physique update. And that'll be just before I leave for Thailand. So uh, we'll do a, do a physique update. You guys can see how, we're, how we've shaped up. I've certainly lost weight. I'm certainly leaner. Uh, happy about that. So it's all good. Whilst I'm in Thailand, who knows what nutrition and training is going to be like. Honestly, I don't know. Uh, every time I go away, I tend to, I tend to keep training. As, as you know just like normal but this time um, there's definitely going to be a lot of drinking involved <laughs> uh, we're going just at the end of the Sokran, or Songkran uh, water festival which is the celebration of the Thai New Year so that starts on the well, sorry that starts on the Friday we get there on the Saturday and it keeps going for like a week it's like a massive festival so uh, we're getting into Bangkok, first of all, staying one night there, going to Pattaya, which I've never been to before, but it's, it's party central, so we're going there for four nights. Then we're going to Phuket, going on a three-day island tour, going back to Phuket for a night, going back to Pattaya for two nights, back to Bangkok, and then back to Alice Springs. So that is the trip. Cannot fucking wait. I'll take the camera. I'll show you guys a few things over there, but for now... Um, I'm just going to chill out. I've got my last day off before I go. It's Tuesday, like I said. Work Wednesday, work Thursday, leave Friday. Can't wait. I'll see you guys tomorrow to talk about how the diet's been going. In the meantime, have a great day. Peace.